So I've been looking at the comment section and a lot of people have been asking for a slide comparison video. So I wanted to give you guys my comparison thoughts on eight different slides on the open market right now and let you guys know which ones are the most comfortable and the least comfortable in my opinion. What is going on guys, Hess here, collectivekicks.com. If you guys would like to shop this week's top sneaker deals that I curate for you guys, check the link in the description and happy shopping. As well as if you guys actually wanna buy any of these slides out on the table, I will try to link all of them in order in the description as well. Uh, but basically I wanted to break it down and go from least comfortable to most comfortable. But I really just wanted to make this video to let you guys know what I personally prefer on my feet for the slide. We collectively have a lot of sneakers out there and obviously you don't wear sneakers 24 seven. So I figured I'd show you guys these ones. But if you guys have suggestions for other slides that I'm not showing you guys in this video, leave a comment and let me know in the comment section what slides am I missing and then I can maybe do a full top 10 because I only have eight pairs here for this video and then maybe I'll do a top 10 in the future. But uh, yeah, hopefully leave those comments and let's go ahead and get into the video. I'll start off with my least comfortable and then work our way up to the most comfortable. All right, so a quick breakdown of the least favorite to the most favorite out of all eight sandals that I tried. The Sandal Boys joints are in the bottom of the barrel for myself, unfortunately. Love the concept behind what they're doing, but just comfort wise, it's not it. I got these from Complex Con a couple years ago. Shout out to Friend Relations when he was with uh, Sandal Boys. That was the only reason why I bought these though. Friend Relations is the homie and like I got these because of Fran, but this company without Fran, like I haven't had any interest in these slides. The foundation of the slides inside and out just feel like a really cheap, hard plastic. It was actually one of the things I was most surprised about with these sandals. They're just not very amazing quality, especially when these are the most expensive ones on the entire table. That being said, you're buying hype more or less with these because they had limited quick strikes. Next in line with that are the Yeezy joints. These are not comfortable at all for me. If I got a larger size, they'd probably be better, but the section atop the cross just kills it for me. Not worth the money in my opinion for 55 bucks. These ones are the most polarizing, just weirdest looking ones I think of the group. Kind of reminds you of the Crocs ones in a sense because it is all one molded piece, which is weird. Then you have the weird little shark ridges on the bottom of the shoe, which actually feel pretty good when you're walking around. The material is really soft. The downside is this section right here is so incredibly tough. It's the most uncomfortable across this section, at least for myself, because it is too snug. So I went with a size nine instead of a size 10, and I should have got a size 10, especially with socks on. I had to go half a size up with these. They just don't fit. Next, we have the regular Croc slides. They're not uncomfortable, but they're not amazing on feet. And this color I got for like 1350, which there's a reason because it's super bright. Across the top of your foot, these ones don't have the best cushioning. It kind of irritates my foot a little bit, but not a ton because it is pretty wide foot friendly. I got a men's size 10, so I didn't go true to size. I went up half a size, so instead of a nine, I went with a 10. And it was a smart move because these fit me perfectly. Next up, I actually have the Adilet Cloud Foam Slides. And a lot of people aren't gonna agree with me on this. This could be at people's top of their list. But for me personally, the way that I slide around in these, it just makes this one one that I'm gonna wear in the house. Don't get me wrong, they're super squishy and comfortable, but sometimes the ultimate squishiness just doesn't equal the maximum amount of comfort, but they lack a little bit of structure. So there is a downside to that for those people that want more structure. These kind of lack that structure. And just for my personal feet, I prefer these other ones over these ones. Next up is the Adidas Boost Slides. This is the one that I think most people were anticipating. Um, and I was anticipating these shoes for forever, years now, because this is something that I've been wanted to have Adidas make a reality. Unfortunately, it's just not executed as well as I would have liked. There's a couple of things I really like. There's a couple of things I don't like. The first things first is the boost. It's not really that felt. And on top of the boost, there's like a little felt section, which is overtaking more of the upper than it probably should. And because of it, I just, I can't feel the boost very well on that. Also, there is a full traction on the outsole. So it feels like a sandwich of boost that like doesn't work very well. And it's really thin in other places, like in the front toe section, where maybe I was hoping for a little bit more thickness. So if they like doubled the boost size on here, I bet it would be amazing. The cover over top is actually really nice and the three stripes are rubberized. And there's a lot more traction on these than the other joints. So if you're looking for something that has more of a firm feeling and like more structure than what the cloud foams offer, these are definitely a step in the right direction. But that being said, it's just not worth the $60 in my opinion for the slides, uh, especially when there's so many other good options on the market. If you got these on sale like I did for like 20 something dollars, super deal, might as well get them. Uh, it's definitely something that I'm gonna be wearing. It's just not as comfortable as I anticipated. But that being said, I am looking forward to seeing what Adidas does in the future. Hopefully they make um, some adjustments and make like a really comfortable boost slide because I know they can do it. 
especially since they have so many other really comfortable slides out here. Next up are the Nike Solar Soft joints right here. I don't know if it's Benassi or Bassani. I always want to call them the Bassanis, but I think they're the Benassi or whatever. Uh, these are actually really comfortable, good structure, really soft and squishy uh, where you need it on the shoe. Probably one of the ones that people recognize the most. This is the Solar Soft version. Uh, there are a bunch of different versions, but this is the one that I have and that I've worn a ton. Uh, it's really, really soft. The Solar Soft one specifically is really, really soft and rubbery and great on feet. I would say for an average slide for about $30 or so, these things are really good on feet. All in all, it's just a really good slide uh, in general on feet, and I've had these ones for years, and I wear them all the time. So the number one and two spot of the slide category, this was actually a really close one to be honest because these were so incredibly good on feet. These are the Crocs Light Ride. Uh, slides and this is just another pair that I bought because I wanted ones that looked like slides and not just like regular Crocs and These are the biggest surprise of the entire group I shouldn't actually be that surprised because these really remind me of the other Crocs light uh, Pairs of sneakers that I reviewed that are just mega mega comfortable and in fact I gave my pair away Unfortunately, I kind of wish I didn't because they were like perfect for the beach and stuff the shoes that I had but now I have these and these are surprisingly excellent the Crocs light material is really, really good. It's super soft and squishy on your feet. You can feel it all the way through. There's a little button on the bottom here. Um, there's a lot of foundation and structure to the, to the sandal as well. And all in all, these things felt perfect. Size nine is what I went with, I believe. Uh, and they fit me perfectly fine, which is interesting because these are a size 10. And you can see they look pretty much the same size. So size nine, size 10. These fit me perfect. These fit me perfect. So just Kind of weird, the sizing of everything. And for the rest of the slides out here, I went with like a nine usually, or a nine and a half if they had that option. But usually slides only offer full sizes. But these ones were the sleepers out of the group that I was like, okay, whatever, another pair of slides to try. And these ones I think might be my favorite ones out of the group. Only 20 bucks too. The downside is like, it's a Croc slide. So I know I have a lot of expensive type sneakers and stuff in my collection. And I'm not embarrassed to be wearing these, but I know that there's a lot of people that would be embarrassed to be wearing Croc slides. Like you just have to be comfortable with yourself. And literally what better way to be comfortable with yourself is by being comfortable with yourself. So uh, I'm not embarrassed by the Croc slides. These things are amazing on feet. The Croc slide is no joke. If you've never tried it, go to a Croc store. Just trust me, try it out. You'll be pleasantly surprised, especially if you guys like bounce and boost and cloud foam and all those other things. Try these out, the, the Crocs Light, amazing technology, really, really good on feet. The best cushioning and structure ratio to any of the shoes out here, in my opinion, for a slide that was 20 bucks, like this one is definitely one that I recommend. Uh, when I go to Hawaii, I actually might take these ones with me just because they were so great. And also, I'm throwing this out there, if you guys wanna see me do a review of a regular Croc clog shoe, I'm actually gonna be doing one, so like stay tuned to the channel. I bought a pair just to wear casually around the house and do a video on just because I figured it's fun to be able to go back and do random videos like that. And my kid wears them all the time. You know, he's a smart kid, so maybe he's onto something. Anyway, I'll be doing that video later on this channel, so be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell to be notified of when the videos show up. Number one slide, though, out of all of them, in my opinion, goes to this one right here, which is an interesting choice. This is the Alpha Bounce slide from Adidas, and it is shaped like the Alpha Bounce shoe in a sense. It has a really, really soft cushioning system. It feels really, really like the Cloud Foam one, but the, the midsole is encased a little bit more into a harder rubber material that makes up the slide. It's just really soft where it needs to be and it has a lot of traction where it needs also. The fact that there is an adjustable strap makes this one a heavyweight container because literally for heavyweights, if you need extra wiggle room here, then you can open up that strap a little bit and let your foot breathe a little bit more. So that's the reason why these ones are the number one. Just overall, the way that these fell on my feet, um, it's definitely the number one spot with a very, very close second to the Crocs slide joints right there. But but that's eight different slides that I wanted to review for you guys and give you guys my breakdown of least comfortable to most comfortable and hopefully you guys found value in it. If you guys did like this video, please drop a like on the video. Much appreciated if you guys do that. But yeah, man, uh, you guys asked for it. I finally delivered. If you guys have other suggestions for videos that you guys would like to see, my ears are wide open. Check me out on Twitter or Instagram or um, you know, just shoot me a note and let me know what you guys would like to see. Definitely trying to actively create content for you guys in 2020. Um, but thank you guys for stopping by and watching and hopefully this was informative to you guys. Check the link in the description if you were trying to buy any of these slides and I'll try to link all of them and uh, have a good rest of the day. Peace guys.